Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Last week, something very exciting happened. Canon Finland actually sent me the Canon R6, so I had the opportunity to take out the R6 and my Canon R5 and do a little bit of a comparison video. So I decided to head on a little day hike with my friend Yummy just so we go out and do some shooting. And let's just say that we had a lot of fun with these cameras. You know, the epic 120 frames per second, the super smooth uh, footage with the IBIS, accurate autofocus. How can you not have a good time shooting with cameras like these? But what I didn't anticipate while shooting with these cameras was just how much of a nightmare editing the photos and footage was going to be. I mean, the footage, it looks great, but when you throw it on the computer, it's choppy. Adobe Premiere does not handle the footage, the codecs very well, and it's been a nightmare just editing the comparison video between the R5 and the R6. Hopefully I will be able to wrestle through and get the video done so that you guys can enjoy it later. But yeah, I did not expect that editing uh, the footage from the Canon R6 and the R5 would be so challenging because I mean, my MacBook Pro, it's not a very old and it's pretty specced out. So it shouldn't struggle so much but it really has been a struggle. I mean, when I'm uh, playbacking the footage, it's just super choppy. I've had to pretty much uh, render out always a few clips at a time and then edit and then add a few more clips to the timeline, render that out and edit. And it's just not doable because the moment I make a change, say I wanted to add some effects or do a color grade, then I gotta re-render it out again. And it's just been a headache editing the footage. During this whole process, I've been thinking the whole time, there's gotta be another way, there's gotta be a better workflow for all of this. And then my good friend Joey said, why don't you just try proxies? And proxies are one of those things that I've heard about them before, I know a little about them, but I've just never done it. I've never tried out using proxies in my editing workflow. But yesterday, while I was editing the Canon R5 versus R6 comparison video, I decided, okay, Enough is enough. I'm tired of editing such slow, choppy footage. Let's try proxies out. If you've never heard about proxies before, basically proxies are duplicates that you create of the footage that you already have, but they're very low quality. And what you do is, is that while you're editing, you are actually editing with the low quality duplicates of your footage, which are called proxies. And then when you're done editing, all you gotta do is then just start editing again with the original clips and export those out so you get the high quality footage in the end. So essentially, you're just using these replacement proxies to edit with so that it ends up being much smoother and much more enjoyable workflow to edit. And then when you're done, you just replace them again and then go out and export the high quality footage to get that good looking video in the end. The process of making proxies does take some time. So it's a little bit of pain in the butt because it is one step extra in the workflow but you are gonna be so glad you did it because in the long run, you will save a lot of time, a lot of stress, and a lot of headaches because you'll actually be able to enjoy editing your footage. So I would highly recommend trying out and making proxies. So enough talking about proxies. Let me show you actually in Adobe Premiere, how do you make proxies? How do you edit with them? And just show you how actually easy it is to do the whole workflow. So first you're gonna open up Premiere, import your footage. So I have four clips here imported just as an example sake. You're gonna select all your footage, right click and go to proxy and then create proxies. Here you're gonna get a new window asking you what kind of proxies do you want? I always select uh, QuickTime and then I do ProRes low resolution proxy. And ProRes is great when you're editing in Premiere as it's a codec that they can edit a lot smoother and faster. Then you have the option of browsing and choosing which folder you're gonna put in your proxies or you can simply just select next to original media in proxy folder. And this is up to you whether you wanna just organize it into a separate folder or do you wanna put them next to the proxy folder. I'm gonna browse, select them. I'm gonna go into here, make a folder called proxies and then select the folder. When you press OK, all of a sudden Adobe Media Encoder is gonna open up. And Adobe Media Encoder is gonna be the program that's gonna make your files into proxy files. 
So once you have Adobe Media Encoder open, it's gonna start bringing in the clips automatically into Media Encoder. And once they're in, you can just press play and start converting them from your clips into proxies. And this will take a fair bit of time depending on how many clips you have. So I would highly suggest doing this overnight or on your lunch break so that when you wanna start editing, you can start editing right away rather than waiting many hours and wasting your work day. So just like that, the video clips have turned into proxies. You can just close up Adobe Media Encoder and then you can come back into Premiere and what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the footage again right click proxy and now you're going to attach the proxies to the footage and it's going to bring this uh, clip locator so you can just locate the first clip so you're going to double click that and go attach and then you're going to find the proxy footage so i'm going to go here making proxies folder proxies and there you go i can attach it to the first one And from there, it's gonna relink all the others automatically as well. So now all my clips are attached to the proxies. I can bring them in to my sequence. Now, in order to edit with the proxies, you're gonna need this tool right here. If you don't have this tool here in your editing window, just go to the plus sign right here and you can just drag and drop the tool down into your toolbar. But essentially when it's not when it's grayed out like this, it's not on. So these right now in my timeline are the real 4K clips. And as you can see, <laughs> playback wise, not really playing back. I can't play back at all. And this is even at one quarter of the quality. So you can only imagine if I put it to full and try to scroll playback, nothing. <laughs> it's very skippy. Whereas now, if I click toggle proxies, and then I go to the start and start editing, right away, much better, the footage is smooth. I can actually go through my footage and scroll through. I can scrub it, edit it, get it all done to the music way quicker. Then once you wanna export the video, just make sure you toggle it off. That way again, now they're the real video clips and not the proxies. So guys, learn from my mistakes. Do not wait as long as I have waited to start using proxies in your editing workflow. If you're using footage, 4K footage, uh, high rate footage, make sure you're using proxies because it will speed up your editing process a lot more and it'll save you from a lot of stress. As you saw, it's actually really simple to do, but it will take some time. So make sure when you're making proxies, maybe do it over the night or during your lunch break so you don't have to waste precious editing time during your workday. So guys, hopefully this quick tutorial on how to make proxies was helpful. If you guys have more experience with proxies or there's other tips and tricks that maybe I've missed, feel free to comment below and share them on this video. I would love for you guys to share with this community because when we pull together our wisdom, we all get better at what we do. All right guys, if you made it this far in the video, it most likely means that you enjoyed the content that I'm creating. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, just hit that subscribe button so that you can be up to date on the latest videos. Also stay tuned because the Canon R5 versus the Canon R6 review video will be coming out later this week. All right guys, go out and shoot some epic films. <laughs>